That was the most, probably one of the most forgettable days of Braves baseball that I can remember. Um, but first up, prayers up to Kevin Pillar. That was ugly. That was absolutely scary. And I wish I could erase it from my mind, as does everyone that saw it. It was just <sighs> sickeningly scary and sad for, for everybody involved, but especially Kevin Pillar. Please, please be okay and speedy recovery. But as far as baseball goes, um, losing our ace pretty much, uh, from the first couple of months of the season, Oscar Enoa letting the emotions get a, the best of him, punching a bench. Next time, use a bat and take out a water cooler or take out a helmet or anything, but never use your hands. Uh, so now he's out two months. And then uh, today in the game, Max Free was absolutely incredible. Again, maximum free things. Um, six innings, five hits, uh, one earned, two walks, eight strikeouts, and uh, was ultimate staring contest uh, through the first six. He had a bit of a trouble in the sixth, first and third, but he was able to get Peraza to put out that fire and then started the seventh with a leadoff tweener double by Thomas Nito, who was the ultimate pest uh, for the Mets in the batter's box, three hits today. But it couldn't have been placed any better. Really wasn't a bad pitch, just a bad result for Max. And then hand cramping, because of course. Uh, so we brought in Jacob Webb, I guess for the righty-righty. Um, but he gave up a um, two-strike hanging change up to James McCann. So let's put him on the board, one nothing, And then sacrifice, and then a walk to Lindor. We're able to strike out Pete Alonzo on gas face 95. Then unfortunately, after we decided to intentionally walk Dominic Smith, Smith the lefty to get um, the righty righty matchup. The one got away from him, so two to nothing. Um, and then, and frankly, our offense was terrible today too. Uh, outside of Max Reed single in third, we didn't have any life until the eighth. Um, after Sean Newcomb gave up a single to Thomas Nito, uh, ground, a productive ground out, and then a, a loop double by Fargus uh, to give them three. And then the eighth, uh, we finally got some life. Um, a rocket shot, chop shot by Austin Riley to get us on the board. Then a Heredia double. And then two hot smashes absolutely struck line drives right at um, right at the right fielder for Pablo Sandoval and the second baseman for Edgar Adrianza. And then in the ninth, um, we had the top of the order up. Acuna 2-0 uh, went after a slider, grounded it back to Diaz. Four pitch walk to Freddie and the next two batters swung at the first pitch. Y'all are all pressing and trying to do too much. Remember, you know how to play baseball, you're good at it. Uh, you just gotta make, see if Diaz is gonna hang himself. He's done it many, many times before, just really over aggressive. Aggressive is fine when it's working, but you just saw Diaz throw four straight to Freddie, and they weren't particularly close. So you've got to have a better plan and a better approach that was just not good in any aspect. That was ugly, that was awful. Um, but as always go Braves, that's never gonna change. But something needs to change quickly because this is not this is not fun. None of it. But as always go Braves, that'll never change.